How hot does the Google Coral USB accelerator get? That's the big question. I'm going to test it with the standard runtime installation and then with the max installation. I'm also going to monitor the current flowing into the Pi and see how much the USB accelerator affects the current. This can this is the power supply going to the Pi. It outputs 5 volts up to 3 amps and then I have my multimeter here set up to measure in amps DC clamped on. All right. Here is the reading on just the stand standalone state default state. We're not doing anything with the Google Coral TPU and we're at around 37C right now. Just for comparison, it looks like the Pi CPU gets to around 49C just in its default state. The Pi also pulls about, mm, usually it's more like 0.7 or 0.8 amps DC at 5 volts. And uh, note I have the accelerator plugged in right now, it's not doing anything and then a keyboard and a mouse. Next, what I'm going to do is run the person segmentation for about 10 minutes on the coral. And all I'll have to do, I know it's installed because I've already done that and I've shown that in a past video. All I have to do is run this line in the terminal. So I go down here and then run it run it for 10 minutes. Note we have a Raspberry Pi here. It's a 64-bit, um, 4 gigabytes of RAM. And I can see on the Google Coral, it's doing the inference because this light, this LED is flashing. So I'm going to leave it alone for 10 minutes and then take another thermal image. We're at 10 minutes in, and there's not a huge difference here in the temperature. About 39C. The Pi is up around 60, 63, 64C at the hottest. All right, we're doing inference here. Running about 1.3 amps. I think I had this uh, off a little bit. This is an old multimeter here, so I re-zeroed it and uh, we're at about 1.3, 1.4 amps. Still a big rise from what we had before at around 0.8 amps. Now so far we've been running at the standard runtime frequency of 250 megahertz. Let's see if we can install the uh, Max at 500. Now that's the one where they say caution. We're operating at maximum clock frequency and the accelerator can become very hot. So let's see how, how hot it gets. Alright, to install the runtime at max frequency, all you do is go to your terminal copy this line into the terminal like so it's going to remove the old standard version here and so then I'm going to type Y for yes here we go wow I've never actually seen this before so after I hit Y it uh, gave me this warning page. Oh, all right, enter. Yes, wow, a lot of warnings. Ooh, baby. All right, we're ready back into idle mode here. And now we're going to run it at max operating frequency 500 megahertz. I'll give it 10 minutes. Oh, holy moly. Okay. 
Okay, kind of aiming at me. Have the camera off there. All right, it's been 10 minutes. We're at about 38C on the Google Coral in max mode. And uh, there's really not much of a temperature difference. I wonder why there are all those warnings and such. I have um, a theory. The theory is that uh, there's a temperature sensor built into the Google Coral AI module. And um, maybe it just has a hard time uh, dissipating all that heat. This thing doesn't always blink consistently. You see it just went off. I wonder if that alarm triggers fairly frequently. I mean, look at this. Pretty, it's a pretty large aluminum heat sink they put on here. So it's not that hot. Like, it's just, like, warm. It's not even, I wouldn't even call that, like, I I can touch this easily. Now, the Pi, it's quite a bit hotter, 67C on those heat sinks in the middle. We're still out at only, we're still at only, like, 1.1 amps. I'm not seeing a huge difference between the standard and maximum mode, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not seeing a huge difference here. I ran the classic parrot example in max mode here, too, and the performance gains are really, like, Minimal. Here you can see 16.9 milliseconds for the first inference and like 4-ish four, four milliseconds for the following four. Now compare that to the standard mode. I made a video recently about examples and uh, here it is in standard mode. So like 18 and 5. So I mean we're talking... Not too much. I mean, 4 versus 5, I guess that's a 20% reduction in inference once the model's loaded after the first time here. And here are the results. The biggest surprise to me was the coral's temperature. It was pretty consistent in the high 30s. I expected it to get a lot hotter in max mode, but it really wasn't that much hotter. Um, in regard to current, I don't know, maybe my meter was off or something. Um, it showed less current draw in max mode, which doesn't really make sense. So I'll use like 0.7 amps as the baseline moving forward for my uh, for my usage. Uh, the CPU temp, like the hottest temperature I saw on the heat sinks, got up to 67C. And then the uh, Parrot performance, uh, this is a 25% reduction in inference time so there was a uh, reduction it wasn't you know half because we were running uh, you know 250 megahertz versus 500 but yeah 25 percent reduction is pretty decent well that about wraps it up I hope you enjoyed and find this useful take care everybody